create any traction, people will help have literature available, and um, if people donate money, it could be used for mission work. And my question is, um, I notice here we use, the speakers use other versions of the Bible, and I'm kind of undecided about this, but some people say it's safe to use the King James Version. I don't know what is your take on that. I kind of missed the end of that question, but I, you, were, you were alluding to the fact that people use different versions of the Bible? But yeah, some people use different versions, and some people say it's unsafe to use other versions. Well, not KDP. safe to use other versions. Okay, so it's just a question revolving around versions of the Bible. Why? And why do... Why, why do you use other versions of the Bible? Why do other versions get used? Okay, sure. Why don't we direct that to Sean? Uh, versions of the Bible. That's an excellent question. As Seventh-day Adventists, we believe that scripture is thought-inspired, not verbally inspired. Uh, Ellen White, in the introduction to the Great Controversy, has a great discussion about how inspiration works. And God inspires the prophet, not the words. And we see that God has done a tremendous job preserving his word down through the centuries. And one of the goals, when the King James Version was translated, was to provide a translation in the vernacular of the common people. And, um, Dost thou speaketh this way always? Uh, I don't know, anyway. Um, I grew up with the King James Version, excellent translation, um, but there's nothing wrong with, with differing translations. And God has blessed through the centuries, um, language changes, and it's important that God's word be communicated in a way that is accurate, accessible, and available to as many people as possible.